Good morning. Uh, so I'm Rex Eduardo Piluan, and I'm uh, one of the students of uh, Manto 6 Predictive Modeling and Machine Learning. Okay, so uh, predictive modeling and machine learning has been on the rise at an enormous speed for like decades. So it's, it's because it doesn't only provide us with uh, a glimpse of uh, possible happenings in the future. It also helps us decide uh, strategies in case we foresee these things to happen. I mean, it doesn't only apply to the corporate world, it has applications uh, in the society as well. So today I'll be discussing uh, the machine learning concept, the machine learning model knife base. Okay, so what is knife base? Knife base is a machine learning algorithm based on uh, base theorem, and this is calculating the conditional probability. What is conditional probability? So conditional probability is a probability of an event, event happening, given that another event has already occurred or is assumed, deserved, presumed, or has evidence to have occurred. And the formula for this is given here. So the probability of C given X is equal to the likelihood, which is a probability of X given C, which is uh, a given in this event, and then a plus prior probability, which is P of C, and then the predictor prior probability, which is P of X. So summarizing the method of uh, knife base, uh, we can put it in four steps. Now, uh, first one is to calculate the prior probability for the given class. Second, we find the likelihood probability for each attribute of each class. And then we put this value in base formula and calculate the post probability. And then lastly, uh, we see which has a higher probability. And then we take that value. Okay, so this is one example that I got from uh, kpnuggets.com. So in this example, we're considering the market uh, that it has any association with the color type version. So we will be using this uh, attributes uh, to fly if the car will be stolen. So our classification, our class classifier here is uh, if car will be stolen or not. So yes, no classification problem. So here we will let the variable y be the class and then the predictor variable xs will represent the features which is color, type, uh, and origin. In this problem we have uh, three features. Okay, so, uh, sorry. There. So, looking at the data here, we can move the uh, label and the likelihood. So, uh, we have the attributes here. So, for color, we have red and yellow. For type, we have sport and SUV. And origin, we have domestic and import. We also have the frequency of a red uh, car being stolen. So that's three. And then those that are not, we have two. Getting the probabilities of each. So we have the probability of uh, a yes, which is three over five, and a no, four over five. And we do the rest uh, for all of the attributes that we have here. Okay, so we now go to the problem. Like if we want to classify if a red domestic test will be stolen or not. So given the equation we have uh, on previous slide, we can calculate for the positive probability. So P of PS given X. And here we have uh, the probability of a red car 
Okay, again, just uh, I want to reiterate that for the access, we are substituting all of the uh, attributes that we have. So first attribute, we have a probability of a red vehicle being stolen. And then the second one is the probability of the an SUV being stolen. And lastly, the probability of a domestic vehicle being stolen. And then we do the math, and we arrive at uh, 0 0.048. And then we do the same for the class node. Okay, so the probability of the car being not red, and not SUVs, and not domestic vehicles. Okay, and then likewise, we would get the, we can compute for the value, which is 0 0.144. And now since 0 0.144 is greater than 0 0.48, then we get classification, which is unknown since it has a higher value. Right, so applications. Um, so uh, the knife base has very uh, good applications in uh, text classification problems, like what we uh, saw earlier, and spam filtering and sentiment analysis. As, as we see, uh, strong filter and sentiment analysis are very uh, good application and work. Not only will it help uh, security in our uh, devices, sentiment analysis can also be uh, good to serve for uh, how employees are doing, basically, handling and uh, use. Uh, text as data in our uh, data set to be equipped uh, graphs or nine ways. So one good example is spam filtering. So like uh, similar logic that we applied uh, in the problem earlier, um, spam filtering would be using the words, the of the words in a specific uh, email. And then it would calculate the uh, probabilities of those words appearing in a normal email and in a spam email. And uh, benchmarking those probabilities and then comparing them afterwards to uh, classify if a message is a spam or not. Okay, so pros and cons. So the pros of a night base, it's simple, it's fast, it's accurate, and it has uh, low computing costs. Since it's simple and the, the algorithm is complex, um, it wouldn't be too much strain in our uh, computers. Third, it works well with large data sets, and uh, it, it performs well in text analytics. The cons, so the cons is, this is a zero probability problem. Um, so as you can notice that we are um, depending on the probabilities of uh, each of the classes. So we, we, we might encounter a problem if we don't have uh, a training couple of a particular class. Then this could lead the, the model to fail. And then another is uh, naive base comes with the assumption of independence, which means that uh, all the predictors are entirely independent, which is uh, very much difficult to happen in real life. Now, okay, so special consideration. So uh, connected to the cons earlier. So it um, it is assumed that all the predictors, predictor variables are independent of each other, and then for uh, actually for zero probability problems, there. Uh, there is a solution. We add one count to every attribute the value class combination. When an attribute doesn't work, this way um, we won't be uh, dividing the probability value by zero because we have one instance to it. There. So uh, I guess that wraps up uh, my uh, presentation on my place. Thank you.
hope you uh, learned the basic definition of uh, night base, how it's used, and uh, applications, and uh, what are the considerations for using night base. Thank you.